Hey, and you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy Ologe, and I'm the founder of the Intentional Parent Academy. If you've not been following our channels, you need to subscribe and turn on your notification button because I am so that to bring you value on this channel. Every week, I am going to be sharing tips on exactly how to parent the 21st century child. I told you that parenting in the 21st century is a whole lot of work. Do not forget to follow all our handles. On every one of our handles, we share different kind of content. Our Instagram page, our Facebook community, and even my timeline has different content on parenting. You are not going to miss any, I'm sure. So you're welcome back here. And in the past three months, we've been consistently sharing value on this channel. And if you will, or if you may, you will need to, you may tell yourself that you need to actually, you know, go through our um, other videos that have been posted, shared on this channel. It's been awesome. Parents have had testimonials coming just from the videos. So last video we were talking about yelling. By the way, my book from Yelling to Come is out there. You might need to get a copy today. And trust me, it is one of those books that you read. You know what they call the unput um, put down a book books. It's not a real word. So, you know, one of those books that you read and you cannot put down. And not just that you can't put it down, it sparks something. If you've read any of my books, you know what I'm talking about. My books are revolutionary. You know, you, you're going to read that book and pick on the strategies and tools that are required for you to actually move from that yellow to a campaign. But before then, I'm going to be sharing interesting tips for you. Why do you need to stop yelling? In our last videos, we shared on why children should actually not be yelled at. We shared on effects. We shared on what it is that can happen if you keep yelling at your child. Today, I'm going to be giving you some kind of concept on anger and also telling you what yelling and anger can do to you as a parent, not just a child. So, so many reasons for you to move from that yellow to a calm parent. By the way, that book is about my journey, how I moved from that yellow to a calm. The strategies I've used, the, the things I have taught parents in the past three years to use on their journey, and I bet you, the testimonials are all amazing, like they will say. So, if you're a parent, you know that sometimes emotions get the best of you. So somehow, children can really push your buttons, you know? You know, this kind of, oh, they just push you. Sometimes I hear parents say, but these children just push you. Yes, I agree. And before you know it, you just shout all over the place. You're screaming. You're not alone. Trust me. And your feelings of parental frustrations are very normal. They are not abnormal. They are not, they're not something that, you know, you just wake up and you say, oh no, it's just only me. No. In fact, recently, I shared something on the group and I said, what is your greatest parenting challenge? And the answers, the responses that came on that, I'm going to share it also on, on, you know, down here. The responses that came on that video, on that uh, um, post was anger, emotions, anger, emotions. People, parents are saying that that's their greatest challenge on this journey. Do you know why? Because communication is the bedrock of every connection. And emotions control is what makes communication, connection actually work. So it means that Every single person who is raising another must think of how to turn around their emotions and make it work and ensure that their emotions, you know, is going to be in control and make the best out of it. Why do parents yell? 
you might want to say okay so yes i know and all that you, you can the, the good thing is you can change the way you talk to your children you can switch from a yelling <laughs> a, a yeller to actually having respectful dialogues